What is up, guys? Sent here, back at it again with another video, and today, guys, we got ourselves some MLB Network Top 10s. Yeah, these are terrible, always. Let's get right into it. We start with Wander Franco at 10. That's already pretty bad. Then Tim Anderson at 9. You're telling me Wander Franco is not better than Tim Anderson? Same thing with Willie Adamas at 8. Wander Franco is better than both of those guys. And then Bo Bichette, that's where you get to the point where you're like, Wander Franco, Bo Bichette, it's pretty damn close at that point. And then at 6th, you got Dansby Swanson. He's not better than Wander Franco. But let's get into the other side of the list right now. Alright, Francisco Lindor at 5. That's pretty damn low if you ask me. Then Corey Seager. Corey Seager's not better than Francisco Lindor. Same thing with Xander Bogarts. They're both not better than Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor is a top three shortstop, in my opinion. Then Carlos Correa at two, fair enough. And then Trey Turner at one, fair enough, I guess. Personally, I think Tatis is the best, but they considered Tatis, I think, right field. I think that's where they considered him. But hey, whatever. Uh, let's get right into the second baseman. That one's, like, really bad. This one was eh, but second base... Pretty damn bad. All right, you got Glaber at 10. I mean, Glaber's good, but I think he deserves to be, like, top 8. He's pretty damn good. And then Colton Wong. Colton Wong is not better than Glaber Torres. What are we doing, dude? And then Cattell Marte has one bad year, and they send him all the way down that low. When I think he's pretty much on par with Brandon Lau. But apparently they think Brandon Donovan and Jorge Polanco are better. Jorge Polanco should probably not even be on this list. No offense. And then you got Brandon Lau. I mean, at five, I like it. And then, actually, I probably would have put him at six. And then put at five would have been Cattell Marte, in my opinion. Because I think Cattell is slightly better. Uh, then you got the rest of the list here. You got Marcus Simeon at four. Eh, I think that's pretty low, in my opinion. I think he should be top two. And that's coming from Guardian Sam. Uh, Andre Semenez at 3, I think that's perfect. And then Jeff McNeil at 4 is where I would have him, not 2. And then Jose Altuve, the, uh, the undisputed number 1. But we need to talk about something. How is Ozzy Albies and Nico Horner not on this list? That's bad. You can't just leave those two off the list. Those are two of the best second basemen in baseball. But that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I'll see y'all in the next one. See ya and goodbye.